Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes. So hello everyone. We are the French team from SCA Paris and we are going to present our project ASD Learn. I would like to talk about Lucy, a six-year-old girl. Lucy is isolated in her world and has some difficulties communicating with the loved ones around her. Lucy is touched by autism spectrum disorders, also called ASD, like one child in 160 all around the world. She was only diagnosed at the age of four years old because the complexity of her disability doesn't allow the detection before. Autism is not treatable. It persists throughout life and will impact Lucy's future just as it impacts the lives of millions of others across the globe. But fortunately, care adapted to the child improves the child's cognitive abilities. And the sooner we take care of him, the better the progress. In fact, the French government has put in place a strategy for autism, where one of its commitments is early intervention with children to provide a better follow-up. Yet today, and this is where the problem is, there are no non-intrusive, or non disruptive solutions to detect autism at an early stage. So now you're wondering how to help these children, how to diagnose autism when the signs are not apparent until four years old or even later. Well, we have found a solution with ASD Learn. It is a computer software that provides diagnostic assistance to the medical profession. In fact, recent studies show from six months of age, the screaming, crying, or babbling of children touched by ASD have special vocal characteristics. Through signal processing, we have extracted this frequency and temporal characteristics, in particular related to prosody. ASD Learn then processes this voice signature to provide a decision. Our application will be installed on the practitioner's computer and will therefore not require any hardware, any additional hardware, because almost every medical office has a computer. So how to use it? Our tool is really easy to use. Almost everything is done automatically. ASD Learn will allow the specialist to keep data in a patient folder. Then it will allow him to recall the child during the consultation as many times as he wants and give him the choice to analyze the audio files that he feels are the most relevant. Then he just needs to validate his choice, which is going to create an image of the voice in nature. After that, he chooses which image he wants to analyze and ASD Learn automatically gives a comparison to our database by deploying and a message about ASD risk is provided. Research is being done to treat language, but language treatment means a too late diagnosis. The advantage of ASD Learn is that it is the first assistant tool to ever process the voice, a physiological and therefore natural parameter, and that before the appearance of language. The first advantage of treating the voice before the language is that our solution could be used all around the world because there are not the particular intonations linked to a particular language. Treating the voice also means that our solution is not going to disturb the young patient, unlike existing solutions. Indeed, the doctor only needs to let the, the child babble, cry or laugh and record his voice to let ASD Learn provide decision-making. ASD Learn could be the first non-intrusive solution to the early detection of autism, which can lead all around the world to a real improvement for the social inclusion of children with ASD. We would first implement it in France and then export it globally. ASD Learn is intended for early childhood healthcare professionals or doctors specializing in the field of autism or children like psychiatrists or neurologists, autism resource centers and local psychiatry centers all around the world as it does not require language to be efficient. Once the final product is achieved, we plan on collaborating with autism associations and professional social networks to promote it. It would be sold through our website as an annual subscription, so software as a service, with free updates. This business model does not require a lot of resources, hence it should ensure a good financial profitability for the company. After participating in the Handitech Trophy 2020, a French national contest on new technologies for disabled people, which we are currently in the finals of, we had many, posit uh, we had many positive feedbacks on our product saying, um, by autism associations, sorry, saying it is revolutionary and comforting us in the idea that it will meet a need and be in high demand. We already have some contacts in the medical area who want to test it once it is fully developed. To develop ASDR, the cost production is insignificant 
because it's a standalone desktop application. So it's, a, it's just a software. The final step for us will be to commercialize this tool. To achieve this goal, we are a multidisciplinary team of uh, four future engineers with different backgrounds, but with uh, complementary skills. And uh, it's important, especially for this project, which combines uh, artificial intelligence, signal processing, and uh, medical aspects such as uh, clinical trials. Next time, please. You might want to know what uh, proved the effectiveness of our tool. All along the development, we have been testing through the expansion of our database, and we have observed a gradual improvement in the success rate of uh, deep learning, reaching 83% uh, despite our limited uh, database. With these uh, encouraging results, we know that with a bigger database, the neural network will progress and the uh, ASDLN could become a more efficient tool. To enlarge the database significantly, the goal is uh, to create contacts with a healthcare professional or autism organization to share with us uh, audio recordings of uh, children already diagnosed uh, autists when they were uh, six months old until the, the age they began to speak. The team has begun uh, this uh, entrepreneurial uh, work by presenting the project at uh, different contests. Once uh, the network of contacts uh, has been established, we will set up a startup which will devote uh, its first year to the technical improvement of ASDRM. We'll create a, neural, a new neural network, continue our work on uh, machine learning to combine it with uh, deep learning, make uh, the application as ergonomic as possible, and finally, create a centralized health data host, which will uh, compensate for the lack of data on autism in uh, research. Once uh, the development stage is completed, we will focus on the regulatory and clinical trial aspects required for such a medical device. It is neither easy for you nor easy for us to put ourselves in the place of these children or their relatives. But knowing that we can make our society move forward by giving a real positive impact of future millions of children to facilitate educational, salary, and social inclusion all around the world gives our team the will to surpass ourselves. So support us and work together to make a better future possible. Thank you. Oh, I was muted. Sorry. Um, thank you for, for this talk uh, from, from Paris. Uh, so uh, it's open for question. Um, is, is it a hand? Look, yes, or, that's or... my hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, the speed is probably not that good from Belgium. So very, very interesting uh, innovations that you're doing and very useful. Now, uh, if you're applying deep learning methods uh, to detect if uh, children have ASD in um, six months, so you need, uh, in fact, a lot of specialists input so yeah these specialists can understand the it better uh, detected better by hearing than uh, you can do with the machine so uh, how big is your uh, training set that you have uh, set up at this moment by which you get an 83 percent of accuracy in your uh, detection so, oh, yeah, yeah. so many... for now our database is uh Kind of uh, 300 and around 50 uh, audio signals because we had to create it ourselves. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's not really big for now for deep learning, but uh, we saw that uh, by increasing the number of audio signals, uh, the accuracy um, augmented. So we have high hopes that we could reach at least 90 or even better if we had a bigger data, uh, database. I saw that you also, given your uh, software application, you give the diagram of, of the, the shape of, of the, the sound. Now, yeah. that seems to be very difficult uh, to see something from the shape by a person, isn't it? Yes. Or, or is there something that you can see immediately by see, seeing these ways? No, it's uh, because it is not detectable for people, for human beings, that we use uh, artificial uh, intelligence because uh, it makes comparison between uh, all the audio signals and then extracted the, the, the characteristics linked to ASD. 
uh, to provide a, a decision. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Other questions? Okay. Any other questions? Uh, I have a question. Uh, so for the database you just mentioned, um, uh, all of the, uh, uh, you just mentioned there are 300 uh, uh, samples, right? Yes. Yeah, all of these 300 samples, how many of them has uh, this kind of hosting, uh, uh, autism disease and uh, uh, how many of them uh, say the regular children? Yes, it's almost 50-50. Uh, uh, we uh, we make sure that we have uh, um, uh, uh, the same uh, the same length for uh, uh, healthy uh, children and for uh, ASD children with ASD to uh, to not um, uh, how to say that to not um, train uh, too hard the the, the... Uh, Davina could you. <laughs> Help me. Yeah, uh, we made sure it is 50-50 so uh, to ensure that the neural network had enough uh, uh, samples of each category to not influence it uh, towards one or the other to make sure it learned uh, properly. Okay. Okay, what a nice team job. Yeah, so I know three of you mm -hmm. in different places. I do a <laughs> wonderful presentation and uh, for the question part is also very nice and uh, someone yeah always there yeah i like that kind of style yeah it's very nice uh now thank you very much and then we move to 